It's time for some carbon-based gaming. You have any advice on how to deal with the dark man? Hmm. I suppose suppression could work. Try not to pay him any attention. I know you said Jeremy's never been here, but does this place exist in real life? I think it's supposed to be Mexico. But I am not certain of that away as origin. Well, good to meet you, Juan. I'm going in. May the gods be with you, Edward de Vilban. Conby felt confused by the pleasant nature of Terawea. It was somehow uncomfortable to him. Juan, the sweater-wearing Buddha, wasn't helping either. According to Conby, people just weren't meant to be this nice and genuine. Best to hurry off to the library, he thought, and see if he could find information about Jeremy's relationship with the dog man.
There's something missing. The great library was endless, beautiful, and terrible. An Akashic record for the universe inside the mind of Jeremy Hartwood. Now corrupted by a story forced upon him, told by a maniacal liar. An evil conjured by science and secrecy. I will suspend a room and lock away the foundation of his character. Its key will be left to the librarian, the only thing invisible to the Prowler.
Here's something. It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext shipping company pressing their contribution. Hey. <laughs> Detective! Juan! Juan! I hope you found what you were looking for. I fear there is no going back. I was so close. There must be something I can work with. Come on, Carmi, think! Think! The shipping company. Prext. Right. Good luck, detective. <laughs> well, thank God you're here, detective. Sitting all alone in a place like this. I'd never live it down if the papers got wind of it. Hey. Ruth, right? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. I'm sure you have a whole file on me by now, Detective. I suppose we weren't formally introduced. I'm Ruth Talon. Miss Ruth Talon, in case you're wondering. Edward Carnby. Enchanté. Are you sure? I had too many already. Nice. It's good. I know. I have great taste, Detective. I heard you're trying to break Jeremy's promise to the Dark Man. Yeah. Do you know anything about that kind of stuff? No. But it makes you wonder if he made a promise. Can't he simply stand by his words? Look, I'm just trying to get Jeremy out of a bad deal, so he'll come back with us to New Orleans. Well, if all fails... What are you doing? <laughs> it's a sign of submission to the Dark Man. I saw it in a dream once. What? You don't know the Prext Shipping Company by any chance? I do. They made big money during the war. But their waterfront office is just over there. How did you do that? Do what, detective? <laughs> Bonne chance. Hey, have you seen Emily Hartwood anywhere? Are you trying to make me jealous, detective? <laughs> no, I haven't seen your doll anywhere. New Orleans lies southwest of their Seto, along the great Mississippi River. Its old town, the French Quarter, or the Vieux Carré, is home of the proud and often rich Creoles. Wrapped around this center, you will find a large and eclectic city full of people, including the most mundane dock workers, reckless gangsters, jazz crazed flappers, and of course, the mysterious voodoo people. At night, you can stand on the lakeside of Verseto and watch New Orleans glow like embers on the horizon. 
Somehow, Combe was back in New Orleans, close to the docks. He could smell the pungent aroma of the Mississippi River. In front of him was the Prext Shipping Company. According to the book in the library, he should find the address to where Jeremy first met the dark man inside. Prext Shipping Company. According to the book in Tarawea, the dark man is connected to a performance that Jeremy went to somewhere in New Orleans. I'm sure I can find the address inside. locked from the other side. I'm all out of bullets. Thank <laughs> you. 
The sewer system has a tunnel running right below Preg's shipping company. I bet I can use it to get inside. No way I can get this out of the way with my bare hands. But if I get that crane going, that should do it.
I don't know where to go.
inside the warehouse. The office must be upstairs. The ship was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by ones who live in the deep. All items have now been signed and delivered. Now best keep the papers safe. What is left? Later is right. And hell is back again. Hey, I always wanted to try one of these. Cargo Manifesto, September 19th, 1892. Breck Shipping Company delivered four steamer trunks, one Egyptian sarcophagus, and a large wooden crate belonging to the showman called the Black Pharaoh, performing at Gaitin Street. Here we go. The address where Jeremy first encountered the Dark Man.
I'm all out of bullets. Like the fog cleared up. You want to tell me what this is all about? Welcome, detective. To the greatest show this side of the Mississippi. Now the hotel, the Black Pharaoh, the ancient magician who lived a thousand lives and wore a thousand masks. I can see why you settled on calling him the Dark Man. Saves your breath. So you got scared by a stage magician and now he's living inside your head. You can mock me, detective. But you would be the crazy one to think his presence can be ignored. Look where we are! We didn't get to finish our last conversation, did we? You were about to tell me how to break the contract with the Dark Man. No can't. We would turn on loose on the world. So many innocent would die. But there is a way to break out of the deal. There is. You offered me a way out. Steps to take. What are they? You'll never find them. They're forever entombed in his sunken desert temple. Jeremy, I'm not your enemy. Tell me where to go. How do I find the temple? No, we can't. I have to make this sacrifice. God damn it, Jeremy. I'm gonna save you. Don't worry.
The address of the event where Jeremy first met the dark man surprised Condy. The infamous Gallatin Street didn't exist any longer, and he wondered if he would be able to find the right building. Was it still standing? Did it matter? Maybe this world was not just another place, but another time as well. How do you save someone who doesn't want to be saved? Well, he's gonna get saved no matter what. I just need to find the temple somehow. If you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe for more. Or consider checking out one of the related playlists on the channel.